you for today's highly anticipated Kellogg Park Grand Opening. I'm Nancy O'Connor and I'm the Director of Parks, Recreation and Community Partnerships for the City of Ventura. We celebrate this day side by side with our partner, the Trust for Public Land, who was instrumental every step of the way in the creation of Kellogg Park. I'd like to thank our elected officials that are here today, Mayor Neil Andrews, Deputy Mayor Matt LeVere, Council Member Christy Weir, Council Member Cheryl Heitman, Council Member Eric Nasarengo, Mark Martinez on behalf of Julia Brownlee, California State Senator Hannah Beth Jackson, Angelica Cisneros on behalf of Assemblywoman Monique Lamone, and Steve Bennett, Ventura County Supervisor. Before I introduce our first speaker, with a show of hands, how many people here remember when this was just a dirt lot? Wow. I sincerely thank all of you who helped participate in the countless surveys, designs, and fundraising efforts. It is with your engagement that this makes, makes this park a true neighborhood park. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, on behalf of Mayor Andrews and all of my colleagues on the Ventura City Council, it is my honor and privilege to welcome you here this morning to your Kellogg Park. Well, we're grateful to be here on such a, a beautiful morning, and it's days like this that I think all of us uh, truly appreciate how lucky we are to live in such a beautiful city. It's days like this where we appreciate having parks like this, and that's why Ventura is such a special place to live. And the west side of Ventura really is unlike any other area in our city. The, uh, the uniqueness, the diversity, the cooperation, the sense of community. The west side is truly the most vibrant neighborhood in our city. And this is just the latest addition to an incredible, incredible part of our town. Hey, take a look around. Uh, I mean, just last year, this was a vacant piece of dirt. And to see what we have accomplished together, it, it blows my mind that we have taken this from a piece of dirt to probably the most modern, and it is the most beautiful park in our entire city, and it's right here on the west side. And, you know, none of this would have been possible without a lot of teamwork, and I want to recognize several of our partners who made this park a reality. Because really, this started as a dream, and then it became a vision, and then with a lot of teamwork, a lot of cooperation, a lot of perseverance, we made this. And without these partners I'm about to recognize, it would have never happened. First, Pacific Coast Land Design. We were just talking. We were just talking on stage about the amazing landscaping here. It is, it is incredible what Pacific Coast Land Design came up with. And uh, I'm just really eternally grateful that they partnered with this and, and, and gave us this just incredible design. Uh, CS Legacy Construction, who actually built the park. And then I want to take a moment to thank some of our donors, because it's not easy building a three and a half million dollar park. And without the financial support of those I'm about to, to mention, again, none of this would have been possible. So excuse me, it's a long list, but it takes a long time to raise three and a half million dollars. Access Information Management, ERA Energy LLC, Agroman, the California Department of Housing and Community Development, California Oaks Property Management, California Resources Corporation, Crimson Pipeline, the Dyer Sheehan Group, Edison International, Elena Brokaw, Green Thumb Nursery, Greenfields Outdoor Fitness, the Healthy Eating Active Living, the Heal Initiative, Jackie and Brandon Pierce. Yeah, give it up for Jackie Pierce. She's a true hero of the West Side, I agree. Kaiser Permanente, Michelle Chaplin, Miguel Rodriguez, Mitsubishi Corporation, OFI Property Management, Patagonia, Ravello Holdings, who built the Cannery Apartments right here on the Avenue, 
Raincon Consultants, Riviera Bronze, Southern California Gas Company, Steven Peterson, Stoneworks Studio, Strategic Growth Council, TNT Truck and Crane Service, which is alongside West, a long, uh, long time West Side business. My personal favorite, Taqueria to Pitalan. <laughs> the Becker Group, the D. Benedetto family. There they are. The Roper Smith family. The U.S. Department of the Interior and the California Department of Parks and Recreation. The Ventura Community Partners Foundation. Ventura Water. Probably our most important local partner, the West Side Community Council. And Lori Steinhauer, Tomas Luna, and all of the residents who took part in the, the endless meetings and the design. Uh, workshops, and it wouldn't have been possible without the incredible support and partnership with the West Side Community Council. And then lastly, I, I really want to especially recognize some people who are near and dear to my heart. Uh, Nancy O'Connor and the entire Ventura Parks team. Nancy, Katrina, and so many others worked tirelessly to make this park a reality, and I think they all deserve a huge round of applause. Yeah. Here in Ventura, we, we love our parks, we love our hillsides, we love our open space, and that's why we have 46 parks and designated historic sites in this area, which give us year-round recreational activities. Parks create safer neighborhoods, they create more beautiful neighborhoods. They create healthier environments. They're good for the environment. And what they really do is they provide numerous options, safe options, for our kids, our seniors, and our families. And as your deputy mayor, I think I can say without a shadow of a doubt that parks make our community better and this park makes the west side better. And so it's my honor my privilege to officially recognize the reality of a dream. Looking around, we made it. And it's my honor today to officially inform all of you that Kellogg Park is open and ready to be used. Our elected officials recognize the importance of community engagement and the value that parks provide our community. Congresswoman Julia Brownlee and Assemblymember Monique Lamone would like to offer recognition for the support that the community gave for years to help the West Side drive the process of Kellogg Park. Here on behalf of Julia Brownlee is Mark Martinez and on behalf of Monique Lamone is Angelica Cisneros. Good morning everyone, what a beautiful morning to have this event. The Congresswoman couldn't be here this morning due to a schedule and a conflict, but she definitely wants to thank everybody for being here and for this momentous uh, and wonderful event for the constituents of Ventura. Um, the Congresswoman would like to present this certificate of special congress congressional recognition to Lori on behalf of Kellogg Park Working Group and the West Side Community Council. This is. I'm very uh, privileged and proud to present a certificate of recognition to our deputy mayor, our deputy mayor, on behalf of the assembly member Limon. Thank you. Our next speaker has been an advocate for open spaces. Last year, she helped establish a park bond to improve park access. Please give a warm welcome for Senator Hannah Beth Jackson. I'm so thrilled to be here. You know, many of you are looking this way, which ain't a bad view, but turn around and look this way. I mean, this is just an extraordinary piece of real estate that has now been turned into a true treasure for, I, I know it was mentioned, for our seniors and our kids, and hopefully we'll have some events here. I mean, we, we really are celebrating 
the gifts that nature has given us by bringing together the desire of human beings to work closely, to get close to nature, and it wouldn't have been possible without all of you and your support, but I want to give a particular shout out to the Trust for Public Lands, with whom I have worked on many projects. They are truly awesome. And then if it hadn't been for the city of Ventura determined to see this vision from our community center folks and from all of you and the private individuals and companies that recognize that it truly does take a village. And this is a lesson for all of us, for our children in particular, that when we come together with common purpose for the common good and to do what is right and what is healthy for us as human beings. The, you know, nature nurtures our soul. To be able to come out here on a gorgeous day like this, take a deep breath of clean air, to be able to know that when we go to that water fountain, we're gonna be drinking clean water. When those of us who know how to, or those of you who know how to play chess or board games, go over there just to enjoy the opportunity to have your mind challenged in one of the great places where nature has offered us uh, the, the calm and the comfort of uh, being in her presence. This is just an extraordinary uh, opportunity and I could not be more proud to be here and to watch, you know, when we're in the legislature, we'll, we'll vote for certain things. Sometimes you don't really see what the impact is of that vote but voting for the parks, making sure that there was money here, and hopefully that we will continue to use this extraordinary project as a template going forward, I think is a mission that we all share. And with that, I would like to simply uh, invite the uh, representative from the Trust for Public Lands and from the city of Ventura to come up and to receive certificates of recognition from the California State Senate for their extraordinary work on behalf of all of us. Before I introduce our next speaker, I would, I would like to thank Council Member Cheryl Heitman, who recommended that the city consider working with a nonprofit called Trust for Public Land. We began partnering with the Trust for Public Land back in 2012. The Trust for Public Land was crucial in assisting with both securing the funds to help with the purchase of the site and then to help with the development of the site so that we were able to start the construction of the park just last year. Over the last several years, the Trust for Public Land has not only been a key to the success of the park, but they've also become part of our Ventura family. Please welcome Guillermo Rodriguez, California State Director for the Trust for Public Land. Good morning, everyone. What truly is a beautiful day to celebrate an amazing opening of an incredible, incredible story of folks working together in order to dream and think about the opportunity to turn a vacant lot into this amazing, beautiful park. So congratulations to each and every one of you for all that you do. The Trust for Public Land, we have a mission. It's very simple, land for people. And not only do we work across the country protecting open spaces from deserts to mountains to forests, but we also are park developers. We believe in working with communities to create places like this that open space is so important. It's important to our health. It's important to our community. It's how we come together and be a part of each other's lives. And parks like Kellogg really give us that opportunity. We have a big goal. We have a big dream. We want every resident in this country to be a 10-minute walk to a park like Kellogg. And today, we're one step closer to that dream by the opening of this park. And it really does take a village. You've heard a lot of thank yous. I, too, want to express my thanks uh, to the city of Ventura, Mr. Mayor, council members. What a treat and an honor to be here and partner with you. To the West Side community for your engagement, rolling up your sleeves and helping dream. To cause for all of your engagement and activities. At the state level, the California State Resource Agency, the California Department of Parks and Recreation, Greenfields Outdoor Fitness for the beautiful equipment that's back there, Kaiser Permanente, Mitsubishi, Patagonia, 
I also want to recognize that I may be the face to be up here, but there's some amazing, incredible people that have been working with this community from the very beginning. And I really want Becky, Diane, Tori, just to wave your hands for all of the great work that you've done. I want to recognize Laura Shell, who's here, who is our co-chair of the California Advisory Board of the Trust for Public Land. Thank you, Laura, for being here. Thank you again. It's a great opportunity. We're off to try to make this happen across California and across the country to make that 10-minute walk a reality. Thank you very much. Good morning, Ventura. But why are you so quiet? Because we're here to celebrate. Let me hear the spirit of the joy that got you to this moment. Good morning, Ventura. For a moment, I just want to reflect on a couple of things. The importance not just of this beautiful facility. And I remember, I remember not long ago coming out here and seeing just a field. But what was behind the effort to make this a park where, many, where thousands of people coming together, hundreds of people coming together to say that we deserve something better? What parks represent to me is more than just a facility. And I want you to just to think for a moment about what that means. What parks are more than places just to go. They're places in which we bond with our families. They're places in which we recreate our souls. They, they're places when we feel that we are having a difficult day, we can go and, and hope becomes alive again. What will happen when you come to visit this park, and maybe you're the only one in it, that when you are listening to the wind, you should reflect upon the people, the voices, and the spirit that was, that was made on this day. The spirit of the joy of hope. So when I say good morning, Ventura, it isn't just about the idea that you are celebrating. It is about the idea that we are setting forth a, 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 an attitude. We're setting forth an opportunity for the people who will come after us to enjoy that spirit. So what I need for you today at this moment is to raise your voices higher than you've ever raised them. The important reason for this is this. This particular park received a, a, from the Land and Water Conservation Fund. This makes a federal investment, a state investment in this community. It is a part of the infrastructure of a country. When we talk about having spaces for people to go to and walk to, the only way that happens is when the best of the best come forward and when their voices are heard, and the joy and the spirit of what they have accomplished radiates not only here in this city, but radiates across this country. What we need for you to do today is I need you to raise your voices and let this country know that this is more than just a place to reflect, that this represents hope, hope for a community, that this represents an opportunity for us to invest in one another. So let me hear your voices today, Ventura. Let us speak to the country. Let them know that this is something that is special for all of us. What are you saying, Ventura? Let me hear your voices. Let me hear that spirit. I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled to be here to celebrate this day with you. I'm so thrilled that to be a part of this vision for this community. I'm even more thrilled to be a part of what we are now a family. This park will live on in perpetuity. This park will be a part not only of the spirit of Ventura, but it will be a part of the spirit of California. Thank you for letting me be a part of today's celebration. Congratulations. It is because of Mitsubishi Corporation's dedication to improve communities quality of life and by providing a generous donation to the park that we were able to enjoy this park for generations to come. Please welcome Mr. Yukio Shinazaki. Oh, good morning, Ventura. Wow, what a beautiful day. And what a beautiful park. I'm so excited, yeah. So, uh, my name is Yukio Shinozaki. I worked in Mitsubishi Corporation. This is a uh, Japanese company. Uh, we are so glad to be a part of this moment of celebration and to have an opportunity to support the creation of such a fantastic park in a small way. In the global society, 
that we live in today. We are all neighbors and all of our neighbors deserve a good park where they can play, exercise, and just relax, relax. So I'm grateful for the leadership shown by the city of Ventura, the state of California, the trust for the public land, and all of the other donors that have made this happen. But mostly, I'm grateful to all of you, the community, for being an example of how we all have the power together to make our world a better place to live. I'm very happy. And also, my congratulations, everybody. Thank you so much. Our next speaker is actively engaged on the West Side. She regularly attends the West Side Community Council meetings to stay informed and up to date with community happenings. She is a public affairs specialist for Era Energy, who has been very supportive in increasing the quality of life for the West Side and for the city of Ventura. Please welcome Michelle Newell from Era Energy. Thank you, Nancy. Isn't this amazing? I am just, it's awesome. I'm so excited. It's been a long time coming, I know, for the West Side, and Era is so proud to be part of this from the very beginning. From the clearing of the lot, to putting down mulch, and finally our financial contribution, ERA has wholeheartedly supported this project. Why? Because through our parents, we've been here for about 100 years on the west side. Many of us live here. Nearly 400 of our employees and contractors work in our field every day, and we are proud to provide support to our neighborhood. ERA would like to recognize the work of the Trust for Public Land, City of Ventura, and the West Side Community Council and many others and thank them for what they've created for our community. And thank you for asking Aaron to be a part of it. Thank you. Please welcome David Hilty and Steven Peterson as they share their story of how two lifelong friends and retired City of Ventura firefighters challenge each other to match a donation to Kellogg Park. Good morning to everyone. Uh, my name is David Hilty. Um, this park has exceeded my expectations, and uh, Steve and I, Robert! Steve and I, would really, uh, we really appreciate uh, the fact we had a great turnout and what a what a great park, and it exceeded our expectations. And this is Steve Peterson. We both retired from the Ventura City Fire Department. We had worked probably a couple times over here at Station One. We're very familiar with the avenue, and so Steve will share a story how we got involved with this donation. About two years ago, Dave and I were at a party, and we had had a couple beers. Well, he challenged me to match his generous donation to the park over here. And I happened on the floor plexus across the street, and it was pretty hard to say no. So I didn't understand how generous his donation was going to be, but a few days later, I had to put my, uh, my money where my mouth was, and we made a good contribution to the community here and I'm really surprised how well it turned out. It's much better than I expected. We didn't know whether the, it was going to fold or if our money was going to disappear. Uh, it turned out to be a great investment in the community and I want to thank the people who were involved in developing the park. I know it was uh, about five years in the process and it came out fantastic. Thank you. And finally, I would like to introduce a community member who was one of the first to volunteer, starting by being part of a team advocating for a park, then by helping by attending countless Kellogg Park working group meetings, next by helping fundraise for the park, and finally was even here last month volunteering on a rainy Saturday day to build the plots for the community garden. Please welcome Jackie Pierce. Jack Pierce. Um, wow, we did it. <laughs> this is a beautiful
beautiful, beautiful sight and a reality, as you know and can see. Kellogg Park is undoubtedly the product of the patience, perseverance, participation, and passion of the people of the West Side community and our many, many partners. As you can see, I like to talk in alliteration, and we got a lot of P's going on here at our park, including our Portland Lou. So thank you, potty supporters. That being said, in my short amount of time up here, because we want to go play, um, I have a few more P's for you that go with our park. People of the West Side, supporters of Kellogg Park, and those, of course, committed to positive progress in our community and beyond, I encourage you to please take pride in this park. It's yours. Preserve this park, not for only ourselves, but for our children and the many more that will come and play and use this park in future years. Feel empowered to preserve it, to protect it, to pick up litter, to report problems, and of course, plan for the next project that will take place either at this park or beyond in our community. The pool! Woo! Pee! Yeah. <laughs> but most of all, and this goes without saying, participate and play in this park. Bring a child, bring a friend, bring a neighbor, or bring yourself to ponder this amazing legacy that you have all left in your community. Now go play and have pure fun. Thank you. Yo no me olvido. Ese caso lo hago, que no lo que sea. 